Okay, guys. My name's RJ Denicola. I'm the owner of Generation 3 PC and Laptop Repair Services here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, I searched and searched and searched all over the internet. I couldn't find anything for this particular problem that I was having. Got a client who had a computer who uh, they forgot their administrator password. It's got the, uh, what I'm referring to as the gray screen of death for Dell. Um, it happens not very often, but it does happen and it is a pain. So I want to kind of go through what I did to fix it. Now, right here we got a Dell Inspiron 6000. It's a little bit older, ran uh, Windows XP. And we've got, you know, pretty much had to do is take it all the way apart. Uh, look through everything, take the hard drive out. What was happening was, is that the uh, actual CMOS and BIOS chip uh, had a password authenticator on it. So what we had to do is go into the board after searching and searching and searching for hours is find a little teeny tiny chip. Let's see if you guys can even see it. I'll point it out with one of these. Let's see if you're looking at this, this chip right here. Sorry about the video. Try to zoom in. Anyway, so this little chip right here has four little uh, connectors on each side. Well, this chip holds all that information. This chip is the manufacturer puts all their service tag information on, things like that. So what we would do is we take this little part right here. I'm pointing that. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little teeny tiny part right there. It's the eighth connector. We take our soldering gun. What I did is I unplugged everything and then you solder it down. Um, make sure you get the solder off. And then I bent it up. Now when you bend it up, you're going to try to turn it on the computer won't work. That's good. That's a good sign. It means that you disconnected it. What you're going to need to do is, is what I did is I took the screwdriver and you put it underneath where you bent the little pin up. Now you're going to want to stick it in so that it's in the connector and then you're going to want to turn it on. This is, like I said, this is a pain in the ass, but once that works, it should go through and hit manufacturer's mode. Now what I did is I reconnected it and you should see something like this happen. It's loading up. Now there's no hard drive in here, so it'd probably give the air. Give me the option for a setup or a boot menu. Now, when you normally would have this, it would come up and say manufacturer default mode. Okay, and it's telling me there's an internal hard drive error. <clears throat> when you get to that manufacturer's default mode, um, essentially all you have to do is go through, you can restart the computer, and what it did is it flashed the, uh, that little chip right there. Um, now, if you have a newer computer and you're trying to do this, the chip is going to be different, but it's on the motherboard somewhere. Generally, you don't have to do this. Um, you could reset it with a button, uh, but if it gets to the point where nothing's working, you're going to have to get a chip. You're going to have to pull the chip up. You're going to have to trick the computer, and you're going to have to put it back down. Hopefully, this helps some guys out because I spent about five or six hours looking for it just specifically for this model. Inspiron 6000. Uh, check us out if you need any help online. It's uh, fixmypcg3.com. And uh, you can just fill out the form, contact me. My name is RJ Danicola. Hopefully, this helps you out.